Not a boy. What a beautiful golf shot that was. fun people love that stuff yeah. i love that stuff oh, i get out there and hit spinners for hours with the boys what you want to go up? golf course let's go yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna do range for a minute just to show people the progress that you've made because oh, yeah. unbelievable hey dougie how's it going man good doing great you know if you, if you get good at ping pong what do you do you play yeah. often <laughs> you know get, as a kid i used to sit down there and think of every possible way that i could treat that club face like a ping pong paddle you know Sure as heck not going to hit a spinner like this. It's like I'm not joking. I'm shaving the side of the ball off with that motion down there. Not the shot that I'd hit in competition. Just fun to have. Or maybe if you have a super excited. I'm, I'm excited right now because shot. honest to God, I mean, I was talking with Mike this morning. Mike, do you want to bring it in just for a second just to kind of talk about this guy? This guy yeah. unbelievable strides in his game. We, we, we co-coach, I mean, like many of our players, you know, we, we co-coach. Um, when we say, when we use the words, we know we on Instagram, we refer to literally us, our team, um, and our players know, and a lot of the better players know. You can text Mike or myself, and you're going to get the same answer every time. It's what's unique about um, our, 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 our golf school here. Um, but this, this guy, guy, oh my gosh. Boy, we've been working with this guy, and he is just fantastic. And tell, tell you what, I mean, we give the right information to everybody, but he did an incredible job working at it, mm -hmm. right? Putting the time in, doing it right, and uh, it's just completely since, night and day. Since the time of coming to see us, he's dropped about 17 shots in his scoring average yeah. in tournament golf. He's living in the 70s now, and um, you know now we're trying to, I mean, we're on nine holes, we're shooting par, we're trying to break par. We're going to go out in the golf course a little bit here today, uh, hit some shots. But what we wanted to do first was we wanted to show you the progress that this guy's made. We, put, we featured him. Um, on a original, right, like, one of our original ones, uh, YouTube right videos, he got here. Yeah. with with hair flowing down the back of his neck, and now he's still got the flow up top, but he's got the tight look along the sides. Can you see the flow up top? Yeah, see the flow up top no. for the fans. Oh, come on, just for the fans. For the, for the oh fans. yeah, oh, go. let's go. Yes, that's so nice. You know, Gabe loves that. Yeah, Gabe yeah. loves that. I'm hoping I still have that in three to four years. I'm <laughs> fighting it right now as we speak, boys. Um, but anyways, <laughs> all right. Unbelievable when you see the side by sides of this golf swing and what he's been able to accomplish. So, I mean, just unbelievable. You know, the one thing that he had before was we used to joke about it, how stuck he used to get. You know, we, we give this guy a hard time. He, yeah, we used to say, he, all he would hit balls and hit the ball between his legs there. He, he wouldn't even make it around this way, okay? So the fact that we're starting to see the arms get in front of his body, the ball flight is just unbelievable how it's starting more online now, not having to play a loopy draw. It actually plays a little cut now and, and, and has the ability to draw it also. But here's the one thing I would say. The most improvement came when we really started working on the way the hips oh. rotated, not just firing lots of reps doing what? Firing the arms and hands faster. Yeah, faster. The speed training session, you remember? Speed that? training sessions. So this guy and I, we, we, we and Mike, we worked hand speed a tremendous amount, but we put in a lot of time in understanding how the hips rotate. To rotate from that right heel to push the hips open, to push the hips open. So many get that teeter-totter foot where it goes boom, boom. And that early extension right there gets the right side of the body up in front of the arms and the hands, makes it really tough to get by you. So really important to understand, you know, we've worked hard at putting the golf club in the right spot. He's done that. Now we're just trying to get that hand speed, hands and elbow ahead of the right side of the body as he rotates through. You guys can take a look for yourself, but I think he's doing an incredible job. Isn't that a beautiful swing? Go around the front, Gabe. You gotta get this guy's face on. He has great flow to it. This is like, everything's like 100% different from top to bottom. It's everything. Unbelievable. And Gabe, you, you can keep your commentary, by the way, in yeah. these if you want to yeah. sometimes. You know, when you ask us a question or like your, con you know. I mean, Gabe, is it 100% different top to bottom, as you said, right? Yeah. And, and then there's, all the pieces are moving less. Lower bodies, more everything softer, more neutral. All right, before just, it was just everything was so extreme. All right, we, this is going we, to be better. We um, we were talking about it today, and Mike and I were actually borderline getting emotional talking about this guy's progress. It's unbelievable. It's it's just incredible. 
Oh man. He's a feisty guy. Now, now here's the thing. Why, 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 do, why don't we take this lightly? Well, he's one of our students. We don't take any student we have lightly. Um, but this guy's from Poland. Came across, you know, halfway across the world to be Long here way. working with a great, you know, you know, coach in the U.S. And as many, many people from other countries do, they come out here to get some great American coaching. And, you know, we're happy that we can be that guy. I mean, this guy's just striping it. So, hey, you know what we're doing? We're taking this guy to the golf course right now. Let's get out there. Looks like we can sneak out on number 10. Nobody's on number 9. See, we got the best look on this golf course, guys. We get to look right down the ninth hole. And the eighth greens through the trees across the road there. If you don't see Buddy on 8 green, you don't see Buddy on number 9. The and nobody's on a 10 tee box. It's game time. Just, just turned 14, always playing the big boy tees, love it. So we got the 10th hole at Bernardo Heights Country Club here. It's a nice hole, good little par four. Just slight, slight, slight dog leg uh, to the left. I think I'm gonna hit a cut like usual. Well, Start you know, yeah, I mean, that, and that's fine. You know, it's a dog leg left yeah. and, 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 and he and he's saying hit cut, people would say, well, why? Well, yeah. you know, there's enough room out there to start the ball left and actually you know, it's not, the tree line doesn't turn it this way, so that's where a cut wouldn't work. He has a lot of open space on the left, so his little natural shot shape he can play here. Hey, I would like to see you start to neutralize that cut, though, okay? Yeah, I know. We, talk, we talked little, about that. It gets a little. Talked about the release, okay? Yeah, I'll try to. Do the best you can. Left center of the fairway, okay? The little power cutter. Start it left, isn't it? Just working its way back towards the fairway. Should be good. Oh boy. I want I want to see you start hitting that draw more though, buddy. That's a, it, you know not 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 yeah I know. not hitting the draw necessarily, but the draw mentality for yeah. you. Like a like a one air fade. Just that mindset, right? Just the mind the mindset because you know when when it gets over what yeah you just you, you, if you try to hit a cut you end up slicing it too yeah. much right if you if you if you if you work on yeah when I actually can make a good swing like let it go like release and then, it and then yeah it's actually really solid it's good it's, it's like, like a one yard one, one, to, one to five yard cut and it's perfect and then it rolls out you know yeah yes yeah, so just high shots no wrist and then just turn well, like it's like that shot right there being into the wind you know it's, it's like hard. if it, it, it's hard and and if that ball. If that, if, well, not only that, but not if, if the tree line was there on the left side, that drive would have been nearly impossible. Yeah. See, and that's part. That's part of it right there. You know, is yeah. Talking about this guy about neutralizing his cut, which he did a nice job of there. That was a slight little five-yard cut. But I he's aiming it. in the left rough, thinking it's going to cut 25 yards. You know, because from where he came from. Yeah. Um, and we're just that's what's great about getting out in the golf course, getting the opportunity to aim appropriately see what the ball's doing now that we've had a chance to work on it. So not shocking, we ended up just in the left rough, just a little bit left of the fairway. Wasn't a bad drive. Um, I got 153. 153? Where's, where's the pin, buddy? Uh, right, like right on the front. Right, right front, so that there's really no trouble just short of it, or just barely right of it, right? I'm seeing about eight iron or seven. Well, you know, here's the thing, that the downhill really means nothing here because it's yeah. just a little bit more time for that wind to hit the golf ball. We're slightly downhill. Got the wind hitting our face. What do you? What's your number again? One fifty three. One fifty three. So I'd be playing it like probably, you know, just a little bit, a little bit over that. What do you? What do you? One sixty. Yeah. What do you? What do you hit that seven iron? One sixty five. Do you have it right there? Yeah. Yeah. Do the three quarter seven. There you go, buddy. A little bit of a knockdown feeling through the golf ball there. Okay. That was a nice golf swing. Just a little bit left of the hole, but good golf swing. Thanks. You know, and 
it's really important for the viewer here, you know, Gabe, hop, hop on over here and give them the, an angle of where Oliver hit that shot from. You know, you can't see anything, right? So typically what I'll do is I'll walk up in line with my ball and I'll walk right up here in a straight line and I go, okay, well, you know, the, the hole is on the right edge of the house out there in the distance, right on the right edge of that house. And then I get my own little green, basically the entire house that I see in the gap there. You see the pin just right of that edge. So basically my green becomes the house when I come back here. So for, you know, for myself when I'm here, I don't just want to pick a target. I want to pick, you know, I, want, I basically want the bookends, the right side and the left side, and I want, you know, what's acceptable for me so I can keep it in a tight window. Here's a good reason tight. why, you know, for coming, going from up on top of the hill, it's important that he creates that tight window for himself, you know, and taking the time to walk up and down. That's the only mistake we both made back there is not walking up to the bunker's edge and really seeing the line. He picked something he thought approximately was the right spot, um, but we were more nice focused yardage. on the yardage. Yardage was great. It would have land just two feet short of the green, been a good, been a good distance for him. Um, but yeah, he hit a pretty good shot. Probably pulled it, what, 10, 15 feet, not yeah. bad, but we definitely should pull it and not end up in the bunker, end up more in the middle of the green there. All right, buddy, let's see what you got. We're just trying to splash this one out, really get it up on the front edge there, Oliver. You have plenty of room to work with, a good 15, 20 yeah. feet and the, pin, the ball should break just a hair to the right once it lands on the green. I think I'm going to take it up to like chest high. Yep. Just toss it. Not a boy. What a beautiful golf shot that was. I'll get this. Oh, you got it. Let's hit that putt. I was scared of it like, um, Trying to like, sort of like running out more, not really spinning on the hill. Because if it will, if it will spin too much, it will be short. That's got to be a 9 out of 10 right there, Adam. That was a fantastic shot. That was, that was, uh, yeah, absolutely a 9 out of 10. I mean, I would even say 10 out of 10 to be honest. Oh, 10 out of 10, maybe it's in the hole, but uh, yeah, exactly, 9 out of 10. Um, he had a lot of room to, to fly over just you know, the edge of the bunker. A lot of people have a hard time with a shot like that where they have 20 feet of bunker to then get over. Um, you know, with our guys, we try to fly, even though we know we're trying to land that ball there, whenever we have the face open, a lot of times a good visual is to fly it to the hole. Um, you know, because we're hitting the sand and not the ball, the ball ends up typically coming out a little bit short of that. Um, what would you say, left edge? What's that? What would you say, left edge? Yeah. Absolutely. That was good to me. I mean, left edge or just inside, you're up the hill. You can go just inside that left edge and just hit it nice and solid, you know? Yeah, the line is good. Yeah, I don't think you give away the hole. I think you keep it right on the inside of the edge and just hit it solid, okay? Right. boy. I love those practice strokes, nice and tight. Good. Nice, and that's why I didn't want to give the hole away, right? Not a lot of movement on that putt. Sometimes people play that putt just outside the hole and then it just yeah. hit it a little solid, it stays straight and runs right through. Nice yeah, it par, just, dude. It just breaks on the end. That's a fucking solid up and down. That was a great up and down, Oliver. Thanks. That was a great up and down. But that's, hey, that's how you score. I mean, look at that. How I mean, many you players, hit a shitty drive and you just. How many junior golfers do we know that you know, maybe the ending up in the rough would have cost them. Okay, no big deal. Oh, yeah, I yeah. hit down the bunker. Being in that bunker shot. And then a, and then double that's, bogey. That's a bogey or double yeah. for so many players. Yeah. You know, you make an up and down like that. That's just that's uh, that's huge right there. That was a hard. That was a really classy up and down right there. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.